Welcome to Happy Tales, Collier County Domestic Animal Services Adoption Show. Sit back and relax, because over the next half hour, we're going to show you some adorable dogs, cats, and other cuddly creatures that would make a great addition to your family. And now, here's the host of Happy Tales, Troy Miller. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Happy Tales. I'm Troy Miller, along with the wonderfully talented Marjorie Bloom, <laughs> joined by always by the Yard Gang. Yeah! The wait, DAS wait. Volunteers. <laughs> and the Inside Edition And the Inside game. Edition. And the cats. You know, and a special shout-out to Vo Volunteer of the Month, Heather. Absolutely. Who, yeah, I mean, and her daughter. She, Heather wouldn't come in. She wouldn't come but in. But her daughter, Riley's here. Heather wouldn't come in because of the recent foot surgery. <laughs> <laughs> she did not have foot surgery. We're getting off to a bad start, we aren't we? See, Heather, we ridicule you when you don't come on here. That's right. <laughs> but she is a perfect volunteer. And we're going to talk about her. Heather and her daughter Riley and fostering because fostering is a big part of what we do here at DAS. Mm -hmm. We're going to put in a good plug for fostering later. But right now, let's get to looking at dogs. This dog is a patriotic dog. Yes. This dog is America. Tell me yes. about what a beauty. Well, her number is 231-318, and I do want to tell you she's a little bit camera she's, shy. Yes. We've got rabbits and cats in here and whatnot, and um, she is spayed. She, <clears throat> she's two years old. She um, likes, she's kind of dog selective. She likes some dogs, but we suggest that she be in a quiet home. I'm also dog and, selective. Yeah, well, me too. And... Um, uh, Anyway, we just love her, and she really, when she's out in the yard, she just comes out of her shell, and she's so pretty. I mean, she's a great dog. Just needs some um, oh, some time. Face. She's she, been here since April. Yeah, yeah, and she's a sweetie. You can tell yeah. when she comes in, she was just a little shy. Yeah. There's, like you said, cats and rabbits Got everything and whatnot. Going we'll in. be adopting some whatnots later. But we want to remind everybody, we're open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., 7610 Davis Boulevard, just east of the Boys and Girls Club, just east of Santa Barbara Boulevard. And there's no better thing to do in the world to get some real good feeling Absolutely. going in your life than to adopt a pet. But we do want you to make sure you're ready for that responsibility. Yeah. What a great bargain here. You get the pet, you get shots, you get them spayed or neutered, you get a month of pet insurance. That's right. Everything that you can need to get microchipped. No. One more time, tell me about America. Okay, 231-318. And you know what? This is a chance not only to adopt, but to rescue because she's been here a long time. She just needs some patience and a quiet home. Help save Come. America. Come yeah. down today. Make America great again. Oh, this good looking guy here is Jersey. Jersey is a male orange and silver domestic short hair mix. Is approximately, oh, 20 months old. And his number is 233950. What a gorgeous I mean, cat. he's stunning. His color it's, it's almost like, like a it's, buff. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was the exact word I was going to say. And I'm terrible with the uh, color words. And, and, uh, and he's a very sweet cat. Uh, we, we know that because oh, so our... Soft volunteers hi, hi really socialize our uh, cats and kittens very well so when you get them home they really adapt quickly now it says here it came in as a stray yeah um, so that's hard to believe because the cat they looks like say it's been that he care weighs of. about nine pounds i think maybe you weigh a little more than nine pounds I think maybe now. a little maybe nine pounds and well, half. he went on the di das diet the das diet they, it goes one of two ways when we get an animal. Either they're too nervous to eat or they just eat us out of house yeah. and home. He's very playful. He'd like to um, be running around this room right now, so come and get him. And you know what? What? Cats are free. Cats are free. free. Let's come get your cat right now. Cats are free. Come in. Come take one, take two, take three. They're all free. You know, you really should take two. All right, because then they'll have good companionship. Absolutely. That's right. One more time. Jersey's number is 233-950. Come get him today. Free. He's a stunning boy. This is, tell me, this is Verbi. This is Verbi. <laughs> and her number is 234182. She's two years old. She's a, a black lab mix. She has just a little bit of white on her. She's part of our All Hearts No Worms program. But you know what? You got the time. We're going to pick up the dime. We're going to pay for all the treatments. You just have to take her to the vet. And they always yeah, come good. out of it. She really is a good girl. She knows yeah. how to sit. She knows her commands. She likes other dogs. She, um... Came into us uh, from a bad situation, and she's lucky to be here at DAS. Look Scary at that. She wants to that. shake her hand. Aww. And, I mean, this dog just touches my heart. Well, this, as you, you, one of your favorite expressions is our animals have an attitude of gratitude, and this dog definitely oh, yeah. would have that attitude. She is such a sweetie. She will make your house a home if you adopt her. I want to remind everybody that you can call us at 252-PETS. That's 252-7387. And, you know, just because you don't see a dog or a cat on the show today you don't like doesn't mean we don't have some great other options. We are full up. 
Come down, especially with dogs, we get a lot of turnover. Come down and come down often. If you don't see the yes. dog you're looking for on a particular day, come back the next week or two weeks later because our inventory changes quickly. All the time. And All one more time, time, tell me Vermi's information. Vermi's number is 234182. She would have to get spayed, but you know what? You adopt her today, she's ready to go home tomorrow. Well, we've got a pair here, and they're both free. You can come in and take them both for one low price of absolutely nothing. Of absolutely this nothing. This is Apricot, and Riley is holding Oramus. Apricot's number is 234945, and Oramus is 234946. Apricot is the female smoke and orange tabby yeah. domestic long hair, and Oramus is an orange tabby and white domestic long hair. Both these cats are about 14, 15 weeks yeah. old. And they, they came so in cute. together, so we really want to keep them together. Hence their yeah. appearance on the show yeah. together. Together. And like I said, right now we'll make you a special deal. You come in and adopt one cat, we'll throw in the second cat for free. Double Actually, your we'll pleasure. throw in the first cat for free as well. Because until further notice, <laughs> cats are free. Folks, that means we have a lot of cats. Yes. Yeah. And, and it brings up the importance of spaying and neutering these animals. Exactly I mean, this why is I was terrible. Going. And that's one of the reasons no animals leave here without being spayed or neutered. It helps control the pet population, mm -hmm. which, unless checked, can get out of control. And you have a situation like we've got right now where we're just, we are smitten Inundated. with kittens yeah. and we've got lots of cats and it's just crazy around here. But look how, look how, great and you these know, two are it made. also, we get so many strays and please, people, keep your cats inside. I wouldn't. Think of letting my little Sophie run around. Oh, loose. I would never let my dog run around outside. No. Why would you let your cat? I, I don't want to hear that come home. It's just not right. You shouldn't do it. In fact, the same ordinance says you have to have a cat or a right. dog on a leash outside. It's not just for dogs. I so. have to tell you, they these two have beautiful faces. I mean, really beautiful. Look at Bill just smiling, thinking about taking Ooh, two, two cats. Oh, two cats. Home. Ginger could really use yeah, a new cat. Yeah, Ginger kitten really two. could. Apricot, cat two three four four nine four five and Oramus two three four nine four six. Hurry up so Bill doesn't take it home today. <laughs> oh, this beautiful girl here. This is Zelda. Tell me about Zelda. Okay, her number is 232414. She's spayed. She's two years old. Um, she's 44 pounds. And you know what? She's a very nice dog in the yard. I think all the dogs are a little bit uptight today because we've got rabbits and cats and gerbils and God knows She knows, knows her what command. She's being given commands. She does know her and commands. And she knew I had treats after her command. Yep. And I she's know, got the oh most beautiful face. Like Susie said, it, it, she's got like, it looks like a panther. Yeah, her eyes but are a friendly so, panther. oh, I know, they're so pretty. They're and, so pretty. They're and so and pretty. Um, like I said, she spayed, so she gets to go home today. And she's 44 pounds. We would suggest that she needs, you know, some training, but actually she walks very well on a leash. Uh, whether she's housebroken, we don't know for sure. We never know that, but we find that really a lot of the dogs just train themselves well, while they're here. Well, it just takes here. a little bit of work after yes, a dog's been here to housebreak. And I mean, it's <clears throat> not like they're not taken right. out here. They are taken out several times and a day. So. I'd like to point out that she's been here uh, for a couple of months, so we really need people to step up, come visit DAS, don't shop just always adopt. adopt that's right and we want to encourage you that if you can't adopt you might want to consider volunteering down here yeah. at domestic animal services if you don't have time for that but you Hi, still want to help you can always foster a dog or a cat while we get it ready for adoption Hi, and if that doesn't work out either there's always the domestic animal services trust fund one more time give me zelda's number zelda's number is 232414 and you're a happy girl this beautiful little girl is Bristol. Bristol's number is 224607. She is a spayed female, black and white domestic long hair. She is nine years old. So we had some kittens on here. We had an eight-year-old dog earlier. Now we've got a nine-year-old cat, a senior. Right, and they say she weighs 11 pounds, but I'm seriously thinking something's wrong with our scales here at DAS. 11 pounds on the moon. <laughs> Anyway, but she, um, unfortunately, she was an owner surrender. That means she lived in a house. For a Been, long time. She's yeah. nine years old, folks. We she doesn't had her belong that here. That's right. And she knows she doesn't belong here, so she's like to get home quick. And that may not be her old home, but it can be her new home. Yes. And it can be with you. Her Think, forever home. That's right. It's, it's a two-way street pet ownership. It's rewarding for both the pet and the owner, especially if you do it right. I know I can't imagine what it would be like to come home and not have my dogs come running oh up and look at me and wondering. Of course, they'll be mad today because they'll smell dogs and cats, but they get over that very quickly. <laughs> you know what? I'm always grateful for my dogs and my cat because at least somebody's happy to see me. Oh, your husband's always happy to <laughs> no. see you, just like my wife no. and daughter are always happy yeah, to see but me. But you know what? The, our animals are so important to us because they really, they just fill up our hearts, they fill up our home. Come get Bristol. Bristol's number is 224607. Come and get her today. This is Brutus, and Brutus, tell me Brutus's number. Brutus's number is 234960. He's, he's a about, great big sweetie, yeah, is what he is. is. He's a mush. 
He's um, six years old. He came into us as a stray. I don't know why somebody didn't come looking for their dogs. If your dog gets lost, please make sure your pet is microchipped, wears a collar with identification on. This dog had to belong to somebody. Look how beautiful this brindle coat is on this dog. Come looking at DAS. Really? And I have to tell you, um, I've taken him out. He, he knows how to sit. He's playful. He probably would like just a really comfortable Did you guys sofa. dinner and a movie? Is that where you went at? Yeah, that's yeah. it. And um, so anyway, come and get him. 234-960. Look at that face. I want to remind everybody, we're open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. at 7610 Davis Boulevard. So come on down today and find the dog or cat that's perfect for you. We've also got rabbits and all kinds of other stuff down here at oh, DAS. You know what? At goats. I mean, you just goats. never know what we have. Everyone needs a goat now and then. That's right. All right, one more time. What's Brutus? 234-960. Come down to DAS. Ooh, what a beautiful name. This is Simber. I don't know if the picture is going to, TV will be able to match this picture. Yes, it will. What an adorable little kitten this is. It's a male brown tabby domestic short hair and is five months old. Look how cute. She came in as a stray. This is one adorable kitten. Yeah. And um, uh, I don't think this kitty was fostered, but uh, doesn't matter. You're awfully friendly. And look at, look at, yeah. yeah, look at the face, really cute. And it has a little belly on him. <laughs> oh. So this kitten's got everything you're looking for in a kitten. It's got the cute face, the little plump belly, very friendly, and, and free. eyes. And, and free, free, free. And eyes are just incredible. Look yeah, at that. Yeah. I want to remind everybody, we're Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. We're at 7610 Davis Boulevard, just east of the Boys and Girls Club, just east of Santa Barbara Boulevard. And our phone number is 252-PETS. That's 252-7347, yes. You know, I just want to say one thing. Slow down when I talk? No, oh. I want to say that even though right now we've been doing our cats and kittens for free, it's still, it's a privilege to adopt and it is a responsibility to adopt. Just because they're free doesn't mean that they're disposable. It is a lifetime proposition. So consider training for when you have children. Absolutely. If you're young, if you're young adults, just consider yeah. it's the first step and, in the process. And it's just you know, everybody's on overload with cats and kittens right now because nobody spays and neuters like they should, and they don't microchip their cats and kittens. And microchip dogs. your cat, microchip your dog, and keep the information that it's connected to yeah. up to date because it doesn't do any good if it's not. One more time. This is Simber two three five one five six. One of our, one of our over 170 cats here at the shelter. Oh, this big boy is Diesel. And this is sad because you know what? Aww. Diesel is neutered. He's a black lab mix. He's two years old. He used to have a home, but his owners moved, and we don't know why, and we're not here to criticize, but Diesel couldn't go with them. And that really makes me sad because I know that sometimes people, you know, there are circumstances beyond there their There are control. circumstances where it just doesn't work. But if you're moving or having a baby, you know what, Don't or going on vacation, don't bring us your pet. Make arrangements. Yes. No, you're exactly right. We understand that for whatever reason, in a short time to move, you might have to move into a place where you can't have an animal. If you can't find a family yeah. member to take your dog, we understand maybe turning your dog into that situation. But if you're just moving and you have the time to secure yeah. a pet-friendly yeah. quarters, my goodness, if Do the, it. the dog or the cat should be a part of your family right. by now. Pets you know? are forever. Yes. You just don't adopt for a year or two or until they get old yeah. or, you know, whatever. It's forever. It's a commitment. Well, that's why we always caution you. I mean, don't never adopt on the spur of the moment. Never right. adopt when you're depressed or when you've lost someone. We want you to be ready for the commitment that a dog or cat is because they are a commitment. So. And you know what? He'd be just such a faithful Oh, companion. I know. I mean, He's this is so good. Well, unconditional love is yeah. what they always say. Give me, right, Diesel? Give me Diesel's number one more His time. His number is 233913. Great lab. This is Martha. Martha's number is 235045. Martha is a spayed female dilute torty domestic oh, short hair and is three years old. And it's Martha is also the oh. name of several people's mother in this room. <laughs> And probably that's why we named her Martha. That could be. Because she, also the mother of our country. She Martha came, Washington. She came Batman's into us. Mom, Clark Kent's mom. All right, mom. shut up. This, she came in as a stray also. And, you know, I, I, I always find it so hard to believe because we get these cats. This, this one says it's right under 10 pounds, too. I know that scale is off. But you know what? Go weigh yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Um, she, but it's um, reading light. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to talk her anyway, into it. Um, 
You know, these cats belonged to somebody at one time, and I, I just, it amazes me that they all end up here, and people don't come looking well, and for this them. Cat, this is not a stray cat you see on the street. No, the the this coloring of this pet. cat is adorable. It's trimmed. It's kept. Yeah. Oh, it's so soft. <laughs> it, it was somebody's pets. All these cats here were somebody's pets. We're also always looking for fosters uh, for, and, for and We understand dogs and cats are a matter of taste, sometimes different breeds, different size. If you don't see the cat or dog you're looking for on the show today, Come down, visit us, visit often. We turn over our inventory yeah. a lot. We've got over 170 cats in here right now. But so you we've know got a what? wide selection for you to choose from. Do you know what the most loving breed is? Uh, no. Rescued. Oh, I'll get that right one of these days. This is Martha. Martha's number is 235045. She's a good kitty. <laughs> All right, this is going to be a hard one to talk about and not put under your arm and take Hi, home. Buddy. Hi, this buddy. is Buddy. And we should probably apologize to anyone watching the show on TV Hi. because if you're thinking you're going to jump in your car and run down here and get Buddy, Buddy probably <laughs> goes. <laughs> a a beautiful beagle like this oh, doesn't last too it. long around here. You know what? And he only weighs 18 pounds. Yeah. His number is 235351. But what we want to point out is that we get dogs like Buddy yes. all the time. Yes. They just but don't they last. Do that's, why we, that's why we tell you to come yes. in and come in yes. often. You never know when you're going to find a jewel yeah. like Buddy. This is, look at the ears Just on this a dog. year old. Oh, is that the goodness. sweetest, kindest face you've oh, ever I'm seen? Oh, I'm going to you right there and make the Paul go. All oh. the volunteers love him. But all the volunteers love all the dogs here. Look at those ears. So, because he's neutered, you get to go home today, and I bet somebody's going to come down here, and you want oh, these treats, don't he you? He found that bag of treats like that. Can you sit? Well, uh, I don't know about can that. Can you sit? I've already been in your lap. Um, yes, you can sit. Ooh. Good boy. You a good oh, boy. Thank you. Can I have another treat? Sure. And now I'm talking for the dog. This is what the show's broken down to after all these years. There you I go. I know. I'm just flipping This dog back. is sweet. This so is come sweet get him. Come look at the Two, three, camera for five, just a couple seconds. Two, three, five, one. I'm gonna. Now, oh, I was hoping you'd keep looking. Someone stay over there and keep whistling at him, so I can talk just a little bit. One more time. This is Buddy. Buddy's number is two three five three five one. Neutered. Out the door today. Eighteen pounds. This is Connery. Connery's number is two three zero nine five three. Connery, named after Sean Connery, That's right. is a neutered male, black and white, domestic medium hair, and six Hi. years old. Money penny. That's and, the worst Sean Connery you know, I've ever heard in my life. This is a perfect example because. He is FIV <laughs> positive. Oh, okay. And we have a lot of cats in the shelter that are FIV positive. It is not a death sentence. It is for, not. It is we, easily treatable. We No, you want it to be a single cat, the only cat in the home. Yes, well, yeah. And so, you know, I always say this to people. You can do two things when you come to DAS. You can adopt, but you can also rescue. This would be an adoption and a rescue because our FIV cats are harder to, you know, to move along because so it is a commitment. So the definition, the difference is rescue is harder to, a, to foster or to give out to an owner for some reason. Well, it, it just means that the, you, you want to just come here and adopt or you want to do something really, really good. You can rescue. And this, per, this cat is a perfect example of rescuing because he is FIV positive. And this is Connery. And we want to remind everybody we're open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. for adoptions. Connery's number is 230-953. Oh, well, I tell you what, we just had that fabulous beagle that is a rare yeah. find. This dog, I've never seen a dog like this dog. And now this, I know smaller dogs go quick, but I would imagine this, this dog won't beautiful. be around long. No, he won't. This, tell me about Chief. Chief's number is 235520. He's only a year old. Uh, he weighs 65 pounds. Maybe he's going to grow a little bit more, but he he is, I mean, he's just stunning as soon as we can show you his pretty face. I'm trying to get so, him. Ah, come on. Come on, Chief. Anyway, um, we An Anatole Shepherd. Whatever that is, I've never heard of that. I've never but, heard of it, uh, never seen a dog look like is, this. He is, I mean, he's just gorgeous. And I had him out in the yard yesterday. He's a sweet boy and seems to like other dogs. If you have another dog and you're thinking about adding to your family, please bring them down for a meet and a visit. Treat because, yes, we always you know, encourage that. A lot of times we like to say your dog is the one who's going to pick out the new dog, and it's really important. And we have a fabulous uh, yard to do the meet and greets with. You do it with a staff member. Um, it's it's a really okay, good come thing. Come on, come on, Chief. All anyway, right. so come and get Chief. I wish, come on, Chief, let's show your face. Let, there we go, show that pretty face. Oh, and then shake it off. 235520, oh, come and get him, year old. Aye, 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 this cat is churro. 
Churro has had a few churros. <laughs> this cat has churros, a few churros. Number is two three three four nine zero. Churro is a female tardy domestic short hair and is four years old and weighs, remember in pounds, uh, <laughs> we're not going to say how much Churro weighs. Let's just say that if Churro applied for statehood and it was granted, yeah. she would be the 51st but, state and the ninth largest. You know what, and here again, and I don't mean to get on my bandwagon, but this cat came in here as a straight. This cat had this cat a home. This cat weighed seven pounds when it got here. No, it didn't. No, it did not, I'm But sorry. I mean, this cat had a home. Somebody overfed this cat. And they just think? must have not come looking for it. I don't know how you could miss him. Well, they couldn't but, get up out of the chair to go look for it. Right. But at any rate, you know, again, the perfect scenario, adopt, rescue, give this cat a home, put him on a diet. He's going to love you forever. Get him a cat treadmill. Yes. A little cat barbell set. He'll be good to go. This is Churro. Churro's number is 233-490. It's like a rug. Well, we are just on a roll of spectacular looking yeah. dogs. And Vera, I know we're in high definition. We're, we're available. Uh, but man, I don't even know if that'll do justice to how beautiful no, this dog's gorgeous. coat is. Tell me about Vera. She, Vera's number is 235529. Um, she's a red and white American foxhound mix who's only nine months old. Uh -oh. Now, she weighs she's 39 pounds. Timid. She's very shy in the program, but you know, she's also new to adoptions. We just got her in this week. But what happens to you like when that. you start to feel comfortable? She, you know, we have her in the yards. She runs around. She plays. She had a wonderful oh. meet and greet with uh, two dogs today. Look how expressive and, those eyes, um, that face is. Yes, she's gorgeous. Dog. And we know she likes other dogs, and she's probably, you know, she will come out of her shell, but she's probably going to be a medium energy dog, you know, I just the perfect kind of dog that I like, and um, quickly becoming a volunteer favorite. Oh, I can so, see that. Come and her coat is spectacular. It's spayed. like just beautiful rust red. Just we think she's spayed, although it's not saying that on the card, but um, we think so. But it doesn't matter because you know what? She gets if you adopt her today. She gonna, she's spade gonna, me once, spade me twice. She's going to get spade spayed tomorrow morning, and she will be able to go home. This is Vera. Vera's number is? 2355-29. Never shop. Always adopt. This is Wren, and also joining us is Riley, and Wren's number is 233-677. Wren is a spayed female, black and white domestic short hair, and is 14 weeks old. Marjorie, tell us why Riley no, is No, Riley, oh, well, because Riley is our one of our best volunteers and she and her mother and her and family foster I don't know how many cats. Probably they've fostered over 100 cats this year. Currently they have 42. So no, I'm kidding. Just about. They've got seven. So tell us about Riley. I mean Rin. Um, Rin's Riley, very, you tell us about Rin. <laughs> Rin's a very playful cat. She loves being around other cats. She's great with dogs. She spent most of her life around dogs. Um, and she's she's such a cuddler. She'll sleep up right next to you at night. She's and did she like other cats too? Yeah, she yeah. loves other cats. She well, let me ask you a question about fostering. Is it rewarding to foster the cats? I know some people think, oh, I couldn't do that. I couldn't take a dog or a cat in and then have to get rid of them. But it's very rewarding, right? Absolutely, absolutely. It is a little hard bringing them back. But have you ever cried when you brought him back? Every time. <laughs> <laughs> she's young, she's strong, she can take it. Yeah. But then they get adopted and aren't you happy? Exactly. It's such a rewarding experience to have them be adopted and know you were part of the process of them yes. growing up. Wow, it's a little like parenting. <laughs> <laughs> take them in, teach them all you can, and then send them on their way. And I want to just say, too, that um, Heather, uh, Riley's mother, puts the best videos on our Facebook pages, and, and we recommend But Ri Riley shoots trip. those videos, is that right? Uh, no, my mother does. Oh, your mother shoots those <laughs> videos. But sometimes Good beautiful job, Riley Heather. is in them. Well, okay, well, there you go. <laughs> this one more time is Rin. Rin's number is 233-677. And remember, if you can't adopt, consider fostering. Yeah. Yes. yes. This is Buster, uh -huh. and Buster's performing a function around here, earning his keep by cleaning the Buster's carpet here on the Happy Tail set. He's a vacuum cleaner. Yes. His number is 234059. If you're looking for somebody to always keep your floor clean, I think this is the boy. Well, you might want to start <laughs> keeping low-fat snacks on yeah, the floor, that's though. True. Buster's he's, a substantial pup. He's neutered. He's yeah. uh, eight years young. He's a brown shepherd mix. He so reminds me of our dog, I was going to say all TJ. the puppy is out of him, but all evidence no, to the contrary. No, I don't think it is. <laughs> 
anyway, uh, so uh, he you just, he's, else. you know, <sighs> and he shouldn't be here. We've had him no. since June. Come June. on, guys. You know, as a senior, I would only hey, adopt a senior. Just because there's some gray in the snout doesn't mean there's not still love in his hey, heart. Okay? Most sensitive about gray. You should be, I, too. I, I but, am. <laughs> I'm just looking at him noticing the gray in his snout. I know. But you know what? He, listen, he's She's got... She's shaming me. He's got a lot of life in him. And you know what? As, again, I'm going to just say this. As a senior, this would be me being the senior. I would adopt a senior, and that's what's appropriate. So come and get them, 234-059. Let them make your house into a home. Oh, this is Venus, and <laughs> Venus's number is 228-650. She is a goddess, and uh, she is a spade female, brown, tabby, domestic short hair, and is three years old. Yeah. Her coat is a straight, I mean. She's so pretty. You know, uh, one great thing about volunteering, you know, the... The volunteers spend so much time with the cats, with the dogs. You are getting such a great pet when you uh, adopt when from DAS. When you adopt, DAS. get them home. You know, I'm just going to say about the coat here. You hear so brown pretty. a lot, or at least for me, experience with cats, and it always ends up looking like orange more than brown to me. This is brown. This mm -hmm. is a beautiful, beautiful brown coat here, mixed in, of course, with the, uh, the tabby colors. But more man. than being just beautiful, she's a great cat. And she's also very yeah. smart. We've had a few cats that, you know, are never going to be asked to the prom. She'll be you asked to the prom. I mean? She's had several said. suitors Absolutely. ask her to the prom. She did. A, she got a great prom proposal. Yeah. But she's a great cat, as all of them are. And don't forget she's they're all go to prom free. with me in catnip. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Venus, I'm sorry. Where is this show going? I don't know. 228650. Come get Venus today. Oh, this beautiful girl is right she, here is Amber. Is she pretty or what? Yes, she is. We, we're going down. I think she's going down going for the down? belly rub. Right. She's got the kindest right. face. She's spayed. She's about four years old. I she's can see you fine. 57 years, or I mean, 57, 57 pounds, years old. It's pounds, a record, pounds. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and um, she does like other dogs. She, uh, but we always suggest that you bring your dog here for meet and greet. <laughs> and she just. <laughs> Is only she interested in a massage right I'm now. I'm rubbing her belly. Amber, get those cookies. Anyway, um, I love this dog. All the volunteers love her. And when I say a pretty face, that's a pretty face. Oh yeah. So come and get her. Two three three four one nine. Don't you and get on my lap? Remember <laughs> that that rescue is our favorite kind of breed, right? Oh no, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Remember, we're open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. Oh, to 6 p.m. for adoptions. We're at 7610 Davis Boulevard. One more time, tell us Amber's number. Amber's number is 233419. She would make a great pet. This gorgeous, gorgeous cat is Sprite. Sprite is a spayed female, gray tabby, and black domestic long hair. Is five months old. Uh, you know, I, earlier I was talking about what a roll of great looking dogs. The coats and the colorations of these cats today have been fantastic. This is an owner surrender. She might be a little older than five months. Yeah, I think that might be I wrong. I think so, And too. the scales may be off? Yeah, probably. <laughs> but so is the age. I, I, uh, she got adopted, but then she also got surrendered because they were allergic. So I think if you add a few months on to that, I don't know. But at any rate, this cat, I, I like to, to give them uh, pedicures here. And she just like, here's Good work one if you paw. can get it. Here's another paw. She is the quietest. She did my nails. <laughs> She's the quietest, sweetest cat. I mean, she is just, she's a cuddler. She's just low maintenance. Are you the sweetest? Look at that face. What a gorgeous yeah. cat that is. And she's so everybody. soft. Yeah, we are so loaded up on cats and kittens right now that they're free. That's yes. right. Come get one, two, three. They're free. Get them out the door. Give them a great home. Give mm -hmm. them a lifetime home. Forever. They'll give you love yeah. in return for absolutely no conditions. All you got to do is give them some food and some water and some attention, and your dog or cat's going to love Look you Look at this fluffy tail, oh, too. That's a big fluffy tail there. It is. One She's more time. Gorgeous. Sprite's number is 233-666. Wow, another great episode of Happy great Tales and episode. Fantastic Dogs and Cats. Want to remind everybody one more time, our address is 7610 Davis Boulevard. That's just east of Santa Barbara, just east of the Boys and Girls Club. We're open Monday through Saturday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Our number is 252-PETS. That's 252-7387. Come down, visit us, adopt, adopt. Never shop. Never always, shop. Always ad adopt. Okay, adopt. I'll finish it for you. Until <laughs> next time, everybody, Happy, happy Tales!
I was afraid of that. Well, guess it's time to get you fixed. Your pets will start fooling around sooner than you think. Go on, get out of here! Accidental litters lead to millions killed in shelters each year. Help prevent more. Fix at month four.